wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. No, I think we are good. Yeah, yeah, it works. Great. So let's go back to Skype. Sorry, guys. Oh, no that's problem. a bit. <laughs> so, so, so uh, I wanted to uh, uh, make sure first to introduce you to my partner, really. My main partner in, in all of the work I do these days, which is the bicycle. Uh, you know, for me, the bike is part of an assemblage, which is uh, me, the bike, and the environment, and 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 the becoming of all of it together. I call it becoming bike in a way, right? Uh, so this is the bike uh, behind me. It's not that I fetishize the object. It's not about the object. It's about what we become together, right? Uh, it's a very delusion uh, kind of uh, uh, concept. The idea that the inanimate object and the human really ultimately become one system. So uh, I'm gonna uh, get on it, and uh, and we can keep talking. All right. So what should we talk about? <laughs> yeah. And how, how long how long does it take when you when you go with your bike? It's like for the day or for two weeks or? Well, so I spend a lot of my time actually on the bicycle. I would say I spend almost two thirds of my life right now are on the bicycle. Wow. Yeah. I also like the 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 plasticity of riding on a bicycle. So, you know, you can like suddenly I say, oh, I'm going to go around the street and now I'm going around the tree, you know, <laughs> now, oh, no, now I'm going to go over here. And, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, it's very ludic that way. It's, it, 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 it reminds you a lot of what it was to be a child. And, and your first explorations of space. Mm -hmm. Is your is your practice about meeting people as well, or it's more about being by yourself, riding, uh, randoming? Or? No, no. Sometimes people that because sometimes in my practice I also do a character. I do a, I do like a performance, like in bicicletas blancas, white bicycles. Yeah, I saw your video. Huh? You saw that video. Yeah. yeah. And so people people find that pretty pretty weird, and so they want to follow me. They want to know who am I? What am I doing? It's, it's it's a bit what I've been experimenting uh, here, you know, since uh, like maybe 10 years, I've been orientating my practice to really uh, ecological and sustainable aspects, uh, a bit like you, but more by gathering people, making, meeting people work together. I don't know if you can see it. I, I'm going to show you, I'm going to make you a kind of short visit if you, if you like. Okay. Uh, uh, I was in uh, in Brazil in Amazonas uh, like a year ago, and I got really impressed by the huge uh, structure that the termites are able to uh, to do. It's kind of a collective uh, genius. Let me go to the first uh, design, the first drawing. So the idea was grab to dig dig the the the, the ground get the, the soil, get the, 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 the mud out of the, the ground and start to build something by making some bricks with the, with the mud. So what we call that the biomimetism, uh, it's all architecture, human being get inspired by why the nature can teach us. And well, I wanted to do my own termite with a great circulation of fresh air the termites are have a skill for building sustainable architecture. It's exactly what inspired me in my work. It's building stuff 
but directly connecting, connected to the nature and uh, getting inspired by the nature. I don't know if you see something, if you I show I you this it. picture. Yeah, you can see it. It's yeah, yeah. like a six, six, it's going to be six meter height. Uh, six meter or like uh, 80, 20 feet height. And uh, it's only made with block of uh, soil, of, uh, of earth, of uh, mood we found on the place. Then uh, we, we put it, you know, you, you, you make really block so there's no thing added in the construction. And we start to, to build it. And at the end of the year, all the structure is going to go back to the ground. It's like a, it's like a, a circular process. I was on, always wondering the way I could share this wonderful ex collective experiment to my audience, to the public. How you deal with it? Do you, are you doing exhibition? Are you right. writing okay. about your practice? Right. So, so, so that, that's a very important part of what I do, because for me, what's important is that the, the, this becoming, this exploration, this moving, be both uh, uh, research, production, and exhibition all at once. So what I do is I, I, I use technology to instrument my bicycle with sensors, with cameras, with microphones, and I'm transmitting all of that in real time into a sort of interpretive cartography. That has to be with, again, losing my psychogeography. Mm -hmm. Again, again mm -hmm. the situation mm -hmm. is talked a lot about psychogeography and how the, the geography we have in our head pre shapes our experience. I have a special app that I wrote that allows me through color to communicate my feelings okay. when I'm afraid, when I'm tired. The point of the technology is to give my, 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 my sense of the here and now to turn it into performative. One of the dangers with this type of work is for, for you to become an explorer, as in like, you know, 18th century explorer, where things are just, you know, curiosities for your, for your discoveries. Or you become a 21st century tourist, and, and so I think the technology and this live performance element puts us in a different kind of, on, on the, in the artist consciousness on a constant basis. I mean, I think we, I, I've got two kids, you know, and every time we, we share together and we talk, they say, but Papa, but you, you're always traveling, you should stop traveling, it's not good to take the plane, and why don't you just uh, stay, not home, I mean, but in your city and do things differently. So, you know, we are, we are travelers because we are curious. And once you're curious and you think you have stuff to say that you need to go on the road, and you need to go to the people, and you need to meet people, and you need to learn from the other people. So it's it's a kind of attitude. It's a, it's a real need. We go back to the need. It's it's. I think for me, it's a need to go to the people, to travel, to see something else, and to go outside my uh, uh, my my frontier in a way. It's very interesting. And you 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 call it a need, and 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 it's a very good word. The other good word to describe this kind of work is becoming. It's a becoming. Mm. Mm. Right, it's, it's a constant process of becoming, of not, of not, of not thinking you already are, but you're always becoming. So that mm. that that creates a different relationship with everything around you, because mm. everything is becoming together. But it's not about discovery so much as relationship. Mm. And a lot of the time has to be, I I'm I'm not going anywhere. I'm moving, but I have no destination. So it's not like I'm passing through. I'm always where I want to be. Each place I am is my destination. It's the only place I want to be, <laughs> right? So I'm not visiting. I'm not exploring. I'm, I'm, I'm just there. Right.
right?